So welcome to the third tutorial. Here we will talk about how to design a discrete choice experiment using the R package called support.ces. So this package is designed specifically for designing a discrete choice experiment and also analyzing the collected data. So it's developed by Aizaki in 2012. It's a very powerful and useful tool for uh, designing and implementing DCE studies. So to use this package, we already mentioned about how to install it and load it. So here we will first need to load the package in R by typing the R by using the R function library. Here you can directly copy and paste this R command here and run it so that we already caught the package to this R session and then we can use it directly. So there is another, there is a very important function inside the R package support.ces that is called the rotation design function. This allows us to specify our attributes and attribute levels that we want to involve in our DCE studies. And we can also set all the parameters that will help uh, the, that, that will allow the package to generate an orthogonal and balanced experimental design for our own use. So to use this function, we will first need to specify and define the attributes and attribute levels. Here I already provided an, the R, uh, R commands for our sample projects. Uh, where we want to study the job preferences of university graduates. So we have a total of four attributes. We have career support with two levels, no and yes. Salary, 10% below the market average, market average, and 10% higher than market average. And flexibility, low, medium, and high, and location of the job in rural areas, in suburban areas, and in urban areas. So after we specify the attribute and attribute levels, then we need to determine how many uh, alternatives that we want to include in each choice set, which means how many types of jobs, how many different job options that we want to present to our respondents in each scenario. In most cases, we will choose to have two alternatives plus one opt-out option. So here we just set the number of alternatives to two. And for blocks, we can also um, de define how many blocks that you want to use in your experimental design. Here to make things simpler, we just set it to one because we do not have a very, very complicated uh, experimental de design with a lot of attributes and with a lot of attribute levels. So we can just set the block to one. But if you want to have two blocks or three blocks, you can specify it here by replacing the value. And row renames here, you don't need to worry about this. So in this sample, false is used so that the rows will be numbered sequentially. We do not need to change it. And the seat number here, it's an optional random seat to use so that we can reproduce our experimental design if we use the same seat number. So here I set it to 987. You can replace it with other values. But if you also use a 9A7 and with all other attributes and attribute level the same with me, with mine, you will be able to reproduce the exact same experimental design like what we are doing here. And finally, is that you can also set the randomization um, arguments. So randomize is a logical value that indicates whether to randomize the order if the attributes in each choice set. In general, if you are not so sure which option to choose, whether to set it to true or to false, it's often always, it's in most cases, it's a good idea to randomize the order of the attributes to minimize potential order effects. So here we will set the value of randomize to true. So there are commands for uh, generating 
uh, a balanced and orthogonal experimental design for a DC study is relatively easy using the R package support dossiers. We can directly copy and paste these R commands to our R script here. And after that, we can run this syntax. We can run these R commands. So we can click this and click this. So it has already been successfully uh, implemented in our R session. And to review the results generated by these R commands, we can type example because here I saved uh, all of my experimental design into the object I create called example. Now I can call it and print the results on the R console. So now let's run example here. Here it will show you the detailed information about this particular experimental design generated by the R commands you use above. So here, as you can see, it generates a total of 18 different choice sets. We can look at the QES, which means quotient here. It has a total of 18. And in each choice set, we have two alternatives. Alternative one here, alternative two here. So here, if we look at the first line here, it specifies the details about the first alternative in your choice set one. So here, the first choice set is uh, that the first alternative describe a job opportunity that provides employees with career support. The salary is 10% lower than market average but you will enjoy a relatively high flexibility in your job positions and the job is located in a suburban area. So this is a, how you can read the information from the generated outputs. And here you can find the information for the alternative two in the choice set one. So here, this alternative two describes a job opportunity that has no employee career support. The salary is 10% lower than the market average, but you will enjoy very high flexibility and the job is located in urban area. So we will present these two alternative to our respondents in one scenario and we will ask respondents whether they prefer alternative one or alternative two. So here, as you can see, it's not yet a questionnaire format. It's not ready to be converted into a questionnaire. We cannot just copy and paste this into Quartrix and make it as a survey. So the support CE package has a very useful function that allows you to convert this experimental design information into a questionnaire format. So this refers to the step four here. After we have this design, the next step is to convert the design into a questionnaire format using the following R code. We can directly copy this and paste it here. As you can see, here we caught our uh, experimental design that we saved as example. So we put example here and we can run this R code. And here it already converted our experimental design into an easy to understand questionnaire format. So it has a total of 18 questions that we can directly incorporate into our uh, online survey. And here you can take a look. We only have one block here, so it's block one only. The first question is two alternatives. Alternative one is something like this. And alternative two here, we have question two, also has two alternatives. So the first alternative describe a job has no employee support, but it has a salary that is 10% higher than market average and flexibility is high. It's located in urban area, while the alternative to describe a job opportunity that provides employees with uh, career support, but the salary is 10% less than average 
the flexibility is medium and the job is located in rural areas. So we will present uh, a total of 18 scenarios to our respondents and we will ask them to choose whether they prefer alternative one or two. So this is how you can quickly generate an efficient uh, discrete choice experiment design using the R package. And we will talk more about how you can analyze your collected DCE um, data using the package and how you can interpret your DCE results. Thank you.